Hello everyone, this is Shooter Fantasy. Now, it's been a month since I've started drawing and I kind of want to go over my progress from day one to now and also things I am, have learned and I'm continuing to learn when it comes to drawing. Now, when I first started off drawing, I thought, you know what? I want to pick an art style, and I'm not. Oh, and I'm also going to pick an art style that has nothing to do with drawing things that are super realistic, because drawing realistic stuff must be in infinitely harder than drawing an art style, a 2D art style. And to my surprise, I was told the exact opposite by people who are artists. They said, learn reality first. And they said, you got to learn how to draw reality before you can augment it and do art styles like anime and stuff like that. I want to try anime. I just want to try anime. But no, apparently, apparently to start off, you got to start off with reality. And that, that, that blew my mind. It's like, what? But isn't reality more complicated than 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 an art style, a simplified art style? Well, turns out that's not the case. But let's uh, go over some of my uh, pictures that I uh, started off with. So here's day one of me drawing. So day one, I just had a Wacom tablet that I drew on, and I came up with this. And it looks like a face, but um, not that great of a face, if I'm going to be honest. Then I figured, you know what? Since I wanted, really want to take the drawing stuff seriously, I'm going to go do the anime art style. I figured, you know what, that must, that's going to be easy enough. So I started doing that. Well, this actually, oh, wait. Okay, this is what I first did. And then I colored it like that. Day three, I drew this. Day four, I drew this. Day five, I drew this monstrosity, but um, this was the picture where they're like, yeah, I know, learn to draw reality before you do any other art, art style. So this is day five of me drawing. I stopped doing the anime art style and I also wanted to learn anatomy and be able to do poses. So I uh, later literally took a picture of my wooden mannequin that I have and traced it and then turns out you're not supposed to trace a wooden mannequin in fact wooden mannequins are completely useless for drawing I, I didn't know <laughs> so I then went into just tracing people's bodies I would find a picture and just trace it and then try to color and shade it in and then the faces I would kind of do by themselves and my facial proportions were terrible if I go up here like those eyes are too small that mouth yeah and I kept going through I mean they're relatively not terrible but even still There's still something, they're still missing quite a bit. <clears throat> then, I kind of did this. I decide I'm going to stop tracing and I'm just going to draw a body. I came up with this and the anatomy is uh, not very anatomically correct. And then the face looks completely dead inside. Like you can just see it taking your soul away. 
the longer it stares at you. Then we have day 10. Um, Miss Spaghetti Legs. And even she kind of wants to murder you in your sleep. And then we have this. Then there's a period where I stopped drawing bodies, or I stopped drawing full-fledged paintings or whatever. I and I just sketched a bunch of anatomy stuff. Quite literally, I have pages of just me practicing anatomy poses. And it's like double-sided. Double-sided stuff here. I mean, just trying to learn anatomy. And just going endless, endless sketches. And just, they go on. They go on. And, you know... I'm still practicing anatomy stuff. I'm not even comfortable drawing anatomy as a uh, of drawing yet. I, I, I'm just doing the tracing or the um, bit where I break it up into pieces and then assemble those pieces. And once I can get that in such a way that the pieces resemble the actual shape of the body I want to do, then... I go into the detail phase, but until that time, I'm still just going through exercises where I take a pose, break it down, and then keep trying to rebuild it until I get something that resembles it, or closely resembles it. So between that break, um, I drew some things in the car. This was a drawing I tried to do with pencil crayon and such. Meh. Not that great. <laughs> Then, I got back home. Um, I was also on a trip to the state, so I had no access to my work setup. But then, I got back to the Wayne tablet, and we have kind of <clears throat> these paintings here. So, or I'm calling them paintings, but they're drawn. They started off as me drawing on paper. I'd scan them in, and I'd color them on the Wacom tablet with, like, simulated paintbrushes. And you'd come up, and then I'd come up with these. So, day 24 came up with this. This was the reference drawing that I did. Then we have this one. Oh, where's the reference for that one though? Oh wait, I got this wrong. Okay, for that one, for this one, this was the reference for that one. That That's how that works out. Now for the next drawing, we have this, and it this drawing here is a reference for this. Then we have this drawing, and you mean there's certain things that get kind of get better with each drawing, like maybe the hair's a little better or whatever. But um, one big thing problem these all have is the eyes. The eyes look dead. It's dead. And here's a reference drawing for that, for this painting. And then, this is the last drawing I did in the Wacom tablet. Here's a reference for it. You can see it's not exactly the same shape. I decided I hated the jawline. And when I was doing this painting, I got rid of, I adjusted the jawline. Well, then, um, I learned something interesting. <clears throat> The people who pointed out that my eyes look dead. I learned something interesting. Apparently, for the first however many days, I have been drawing with something called symbols. So, what the heck does that mean? I didn't know what the heck it meant either. Even searching online for it about what the heck art symbols are in art, I got nothing. 
I was like, what the heck are symbols? Turns out, like when you first start to draw, is uh, when you go to draw something and you see an eye. You see an eye, so you draw an eye. You see a ma ma the lips, so you draw lips. But what's happening is, rather than drawing, say you're looking at a reference of a real person while you're drawing, rather than draw what's there on the reference image you're looking at, you're just looking at the body part and drawing your interpretation of a body part. So you're, you see an eye, you draw what your interpretation of an eye has been. You see lips, you draw what your interpretation of lips has been. But what happens is um, your interpretation or even my interpretation of what an eye is or what a mouth is resembles nothing what a real eye looks like or what a real mouth looks like. It's based on my idea of what an eye or a lip or lips or a nose is. And you end up with some very shoddy results. So with this newfound information of rather than draw what you see, draw what is there. It's a very big dis distinction. Draw what is, don't draw what you see, draw what is there. There, yes. Just because you see an eye, you don't just draw an eye. You see, you, what you're seeing is an aspect on the face, and then you got to draw that aspect on the face as you see it on whatever reference you're looking at. And that was a really, really it's still something I'm trying to um, teach my brain. So I went into practicing eyes. And um person pointed out, even though I was practicing, all these are still based on doing a symbol of an eye. A preconceived notion of an eye. I'd watch some tutorials on how to draw a realistic eye and how to draw realistic lips and how to draw a realistic nose. But all that happened with watching those tutorials is rather than it rather than um it did help, but all it did was update what my symbol was for an eye. Which just it still ends up being you drawing your own interpretation of an eye rather than drawing what is there, what you're seeing on your reference. Which um, <clears throat> still c can have some not so great results. So here was me practicing, but I was still drawing my interpretation or symbol of an eye. Even though I'd watch a tutorial on how to draw a realistic eye, I just, I just ended up changing my symbol. So I started practicing drawing an eye. I drew on a really big piece of paper, figuring that would help me. I mean, the iris, I was able to get nice and some proper iris detail, but even then, what is on this picture, it's still a symbol. Because no eye looks like this. These No eyelashes look like this. So I'm still drawing my idea of what an eye is and my idea of what eyelashes are in this picture. So, I uh, continued practicing. Eventually, I got this. This was me drawing as I could, uh, me drawing an eye as I could see it. Rather than me seeing an eye and drawing an eye, I saw an eye and drew what was there. So, see the big difference here? Here you see the uh, kind of an eye shape and then eyelashes around it. And there is a tear duct there, but look here. <clears throat> you have the eyeball. You notice that the eyeball, the iris itself, is not even showing all the iris. Some of the iris is actually covered up. There's like, you got a circle here that's kind of cut off near the top of the eye.
and that's more of how an eye is. And then you have these kind of ridges around the eye. You have the eyelid here and you have these eyelashes wrapping around it and intersecting with each other. That's, that's more of what a real eye looks like. This is my attempt of an eye that was going in the right direction. So I'm like, okay, I think I've got it. I'm going to draw. I'm going to go back to adding them into my faces. I'd also watch my tours on how to do lips and stuff. And this is me. I did a, I looked at a reference of someone and I drew this. And I missed the mark. <clears throat> the lips look nice. The nose looks like a nose. The eyes look like a symbol of an eye all over again. Even though I've got the ridges and everything there, they are still a symbol of an eye. I mean, my... And... So I still kind <clears> of... <throat> screwed up. Eyes are something that are apparently very hard to draw. So, they're the one thing that you got to spend the most detail on. And I made the mistake of not spending enough detail on them or even just erasing them if I screwed them up. Then, I did this. This looks like a serial killer. Not what I intended it to turn out looking like, but based on other people's feedback, it looks like a serial killer. And one of the main reasons for that is the eyes do not look like real eyes. They look like symbols of eyes. Symbols of eyes are not hum or were not what human eyes look like, and because they're off a bit, it looks horrific. The lips and mouth look okay. The nose looks like it could be blended. And the eyes look like they're peering into your soul. And because the irises are kind of more detailed and whatnot, uh, pff, they look like they're going to murder you. You see, like hitting the uncanny valley. You screw up one thing, which is these eyes look like symbols of eyes instead of what eyes actually look like. It looks like it wants to kill you. And then here's my most recent drawing. Later today, I'm probably going to draw something else. Um, who knows what, how that's going to turn out. But here's my mo most recent drawing. I was like, okay, fine. I, I got to really focus on the eyes. I erased these eyes many, many times before I got them right. I was so proud of this drawing. But when I shared it... Uh, person was quick to note that these eye, the irises on each eye are looking two different directions ever so subtly and now I can't unsee it and now even though this drawing is probably my best one yet which is pretty much every single day I have something better than the last now I have to I was like man I was almost perfect they didn't point out any other flaws except for the eyes. So, there were the eyes looking in the wrong direction. They didn't say they, they looked like symbols of eyes or anything like that. Just that they, they're looking off in different directions. So the next drawing I do, I'm going to have to make sure that the pupils or that the iris on either eye are not looking in two different directions. I got to make sure that they look like they're looking at one cohesive direction. <laughs> But that is my 30 days of drawing. And, man. To be honest, even though I've got plenty more to do in the future. Like, I've got a lot more to work on and to practice. I've still got anatomy that I want to work on and get good at. i still got to get... i still got to practice drawing side angles of faces once I've got the front angle right. I still got to learn drawing faces at different perspectives and the body at different perspectives and whatnot. But I've got a whole 365 days and more to learn. I'm only 20 years old. I'm going to be 21 in s it's September. September 9th, I'll be 21. I've got a whole lifetime, but it'll probably be even less time than that to get to the where I want to be. And to be honest, 
I started off wanting to just draw anime stuff. But to be honest, now that I've learned that drawing reality is a little more is more attainable than I thought it would be. Even though the strong is not perfect, it still has it's still based on reality and it's getting it's getting there. So if in 30 days I can reach this point and I spent maybe two to four hours a day drawing something. Every single day I drew something. If two to four hours of every, of every single day got me to this point and I started off at a point where my drawings were not that great. Even this isn't perfect, but if I can get to this point in 30 days of just working at it, just think. What could you do if you did something that you're not good at every single day and put the effort in? Like what I would re re like really all I've done is each drawing I did every single day I would post. I have a few discords that I'm part of and I'm even a part of an art discord that I've been sharing my drawings with too. Get your drawings in front of artist's eyes and do not be afraid of criticism. Realize that yes, your drawings are going to be shitty when you first start drawing. It's just, it can't be helped. You're still learning, they're going to be shitty. But, think of it this way. These people are going to tell you what you've done wrong in your drawing. You've now got a list of things to work on. And then you work on those things. One person, when people pointed out that my eyes were, were killing my drawings and that me drawing with symbols was killing my drawings. And once I knew what symbol drawing was, I now know to how to not do it or at least I have a it changes my perspective on how I'm how I draw now draw what is there not what you see just because you see an eye doesn't mean you just draw an eye you see a thing there you see the shapes if you look see an eye okay great you see an eye but how does the eye curve how does where's the iris placed how does how do the eyelashes intersect where do the bags where, where does the top of the eyelid for the reference you're looking at start where does the bottom part of the eye start don't just see an eye and draw an eye see an eye and Figure out where it begins, where it ends, what detail starts here, what detail ends there. That's the kind of mentality you kind of have to have. And that's the mentality I'm trying to ingrain into myself now. So, really, there's nothing more to say. I'm kind of rambling on here. Bottom line, I achieved this in 30 days. We've got 11 more months to go to see where I end up in a year from now. If this is 30 days of work, where will I be in a year? Well, I, I'm even more excited than I was when I first started this challenge for myself. So, if you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Um, if you want to keep up with my drawing stuff, I live stream whenever I can. And I try to live stream every drawing I do. It's not always possible. Depends on where I am. What's going on. But, you know, if you want to keep up with this stuff, you know what to do. And if you're looking into getting into drawing, maybe you, you can learn something from watching how I learn and develop and maybe I can be a beacon 
that of someone who can just prove to you you can do anything if you set your mind to it. It sounds cheesy, but you, to be honest, I think it's kind of true. I think it is true. If you're dedicated enough, I think you can accomplish anything. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>